Have you ever been under the gun to get something done and you wanted to tweak the EQ, but you just didn't feel like you had enough time to get it right? Well, in this short video, I'm going to show you a way that you can use the Hindenburg Journalist Voice Profiler to help you speed that process up. I'm Brian Ensminger. I'm a podcast host and editor. I record and edit podcasts for clients, and I use Hindenburg Journalist Pro. I use a lot of the features, and today I'm going to talk about one that maybe doesn't get the attention that it should. Hindenburg Journalist and Journalist Pro both come with a feature called the Voice Profile, and I'll kind of show you where that is. You have the option to apply a generic voice profile, regardless of which one you're using. Now, if you're in the place where you need to apply an EQ, that is exactly what the Voice Profiler does. It uses a real generic EQ, kind of based on a lot of radio production to make it sound really good. And it also will go through and kind of compress some stuff. I've got here a file that's already been brought in and it's already been auto leveled. I'm gonna play just a little bit of it for you. Maybe have the wrong connection or maybe we're that person if we're and in general, it sounds pretty good. It's a tiny bit nasal, and so I might want to pull out a little bit of the, that, that range. But rather than using an EQ like the Waves R channel or something like that, I'm going to use the voice profile. I'm just going to say generic. It's going to scan that, and it's going to apply an EQ to it. Maybe you have the wrong connection, or maybe we're that. And it's already reduced that a little bit. Now, Let's say that I don't actually like the EQ the way they've done it. Maybe I want to tweak it a little bit more. By bringing up the effects track, I can click on this and I can see right here exactly what the EQ is doing graphically. You'll see that there's a little bit of a low cut going on. There's a bump around maybe 110 hertz or so. There's a pretty significant dip down in the 2K range, which is where that nasalness was. And then there's a nice little high shelf up here uh, about three decibels up, somewhere in the range of about 8K or so. And if I'm listening to this and I go, you know what? The wrong connection or maybe we're that. This is pretty good, but I'd like to bring just a little bit of bite to that. That's that 2K range or maybe slightly above 2K that's also a little bit nasal. And what I can do is just grab this EQ right here and I can shift it a little bit. Person, if we're disc, you have the wrong connection or maybe we're that person. If I wanted to, I could actually tweak every one of these EQ bands. It's a three band EQ, and I could go through and mess with all of it if I wanted to. And if, as I'm going through there, I don't like what I, I've done, and I'm afraid that I've messed it all up, I can just hit this EQ button, and it will automatically reset to what it did. So this is one of the ways when I've got a production that I need to get done pretty quickly, and Overall, it sounds pretty good, but I just want to kind of sweeten the audio a little bit in terms of the EQ. I might go in and use this tool. This is a way that you can speed up your workflow as well, working in Hindenburg Journalist or Journalist Pro. Now, if you use Hindenburg Journalist or Journalist Pro and you'd like to know more about it, please connect with our Facebook group at hindiusers.com. There's going to be a link right down in the description so you can do that. And if you had a podcast and you'd like a little bit of help with your production, maybe recording and editing, visit toptieraudio.com. I'd be glad to talk to you about that. And if you found this video useful, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so that you don't miss any new videos. And then be sure to share it with somebody else who you think you th will, will benefit from it. Until next time, I'm Brian Ensminger. Let's speed up our editing in Hindenburg.